Hi, my name's Ian Griffin. I'm passionate about chasing auroras, and today I'd like to share some ideas about how you get to see an aurora, if you're lucky. Well, the first thing to do if you're an aurora chaser like me is to figure out if there's going to be an aurora tonight. And luckily there are some great websites. For example, spaceweather.com lets you know if there's an aurora coming in the next few days. And there's a brilliant Facebook group called the Aurora Australis Facebook group here in New Zealand. If there's an aurora coming, first thing you need to do is check the weather. If the sky is clear, get on out there. If it's cloudy, the chances are you won't see an aurora because of course it's above the clouds. The next thing to do is try and find a place away from lights with a good view to the south. Because here in New Zealand, the majority of the auroras we see are relatively low in the southern sky. Once you find a spot where it's dark and you've got a good view to the south, you can wait for the action to begin. And hopefully you should see the aurora low in the south as a gently glowing cloud. It's a really beautiful sight. These days, mobile phones are amazing tools and you can actually use the latest mobile phones to take pictures of the Aurora. I use an iPhone and if you want to take pictures of the Aurora with an iPhone, you need to go into the camera app and get it into night mode. Uh, that normally happens automatically if you go out after dark. Once you've got it in night mode, put your finger on the, the surface of the phone and you can fiddle with the exposure slider. And what you want to do is try and set that to the maximum possible exposure, uh, which I normally use 5 to 10 seconds. Once you've done that, you point your phone up at the sky, press the exposure button and try and hold your phone still as possible for the course of the exposure. And hopefully at the end of that you should see a fantastic picture of the Aurora. Now while iPhones can take really great pictures of the Aurora, the best pictures are always taken with digital cameras, DSLRs. First thing you need is of course a tripod because you're going to have to take a long exposure to record the Aurora. Set up your tripod, put your camera on top, and then you're going to need to take a picture of between 10 and 20 seconds in exposure. You need to open your lens wide open to f2.8 or even f1.4 if it can do it, because that will give you as much light as you possibly can. Then set the ISO, which is the speed of the camera, to between 1600 and 6400. With all those settings in place, you're ready to go. So press the exposure and hopefully 10 to 20 seconds later, your camera will be full of gorgeous green and red auroral colour. New Zealand's got some of the most amazing skies. They're dark, we get clear skies, brilliant long nights in winter. So get out there and enjoy the night sky. Even if you don't see an aurora, a night under the stars is something you'll remember forever. <laughs>